when I first got to Spotify, I was willing to do it for two reasons. One, because it was a ton of money, and two, because I wanted to be like 10% less famous. Yeah. I was like, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Boy, did that happen. Because that to me. people are like, oh, you're going to go into obscurity. I'm like, great. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, you'll be like Howard Stern. Yeah, no one's yeah. going to. Li- like, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. perfect. Give me the money. Yeah. Me, I got other interests, man. Yeah. Where's, Give me the loot. Were you, a little, were you at all nervous for Trump? Uh, I was definitely hyped up. I was excited because yeah. I wanted to. There's a lot of questions I need to answer. Mm. Did you, you feel know? pressure? No. No, no, pressure. no, not pressure. Pressure no. being like, make sure you cover no. everything you want to cover. No, 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 no. Just like I knew what was important. Did you not prepare re- for it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did and you ask him w- but why also, he was so pro-vaccine? No, I didn't. But I also wanted to be rigid because there was a moment when he brought up the polio vaccine. I was like, oh, I don't want to correct him. I don't want to show like when the. Have you ever seen the the chart of when polio actually dropped off yeah. when the vaccine was introduced? I referenced it, it at the on very the end. It's all bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, that bullshit. that's a rough one. That's yeah. a, the, when you look at the actual like. There's a bunch of them. Measles is another one. And you look at what actually happened. Vaccine talk is a exactly. Yeah. And I don't want to get involved in the, a podcast where there's a lot of shit I want to get to. Yeah. I want to know what the fuck is in the JFK files. Did you, you know? That's yeah, what we that, talked about. Say, I didn't see that part because I've seen. He half, said there's I, a so lot of people that are through. still alive, and I said, okay, so that's why you wouldn't release it because some of the people that are going to be implicated are still alive. So what that's saying to me is that the government was involved. Of course, in everybody knows. But that. I said yeah. that, and he kind of like he danced a little. The he's, politician he's came real, out. No, he just like he's real good at you ask him a question, and he starts to answer it, but then he takes you on a totally the different route. The weave. The weave. You gotta, but you got to bring him back in, but you got to be respectful so it's like i knew that that's the way he does it but i'm like i know i understand what you're doing sir but let's get it back to what i was asking you yeah, you did that you did that a couple times. i was like i want to know what that first day is like and i don't think i really got that answer out of him i, I don't think he, he remembers well, i think he does I, what i'm talking about is like this feeling of now you have to appoint ten thousand people and now you have to figure out how this machine works wow. when you've never governed at all and they don't wow. show you any of that when you're running for right. president yeah. It's not like a training the program. Details. Like, hey, Brendan, you might be president, so we're going to show you. This it's is nothing. how deals get made. Yeah. This I like is- what he said about John Bolton. He said, yeah, he's a whack job, but you know what was cool about him? When I went to Iran and I had John Bolton, they all knew he was a fuck. He was ready to drop bombs. <laughs> he's called him a yeah. whack job, but he, yeah. he had you know, his purpose. You know, John Bolton, that, kind of, that kind of mindset, yeah. you know, the problem with the, the Trump stuff is just that the people look at the inflammatory things the he says. Shit. The crazy, yeah. and they define it by that. But you also have get to remember it. this is a very bizarre combination of an entertainer and a businessman. Mm-hmm. So it's an entertainer that, like, he's like a comedian, man. He says funny, yeah. he does it all the time. He's, very funny. Yeah. he's always, Constantly when he makes roasting. fun of Biden, Constantly roasting. He, uh, he's funny, he's man. New York, he's very New yeah. York. I miss the fact that he, the nicknames he gives to people, that they Tampon have to be funny. Tim. Yeah. <laughs> If they were, if, they, if it wasn't Newscom? funny, he wouldn't yeah. use it. Like his, tampon Tim. Yeah, but my point is, 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 my point is people on. don't know what to do with that. Yeah. And they want to pretend that all these other people are somehow or another like morally better because you don't get to see the real them. Like, I don't buy that. I don't think you should either. I don't think that's how people really are. I think and when you see over and over and over and over again the media manipulating things and lying about things to make him seem way worse than he Call is. Call him Hitler? You should be suspicious. Yes. You should be There's real suspicious. There's a reason suspicious. why they're doing that. Exactly. Joe, they, did, they don't want to lose that job. They're in desperado mode now. Do you, did you have a different perspective after? Like, go, like you, you don't know him well, right? I don't know him at all. But I, after, I, after I literally down for never had hours. a conversation with him other than nice to meet you, sir. And he complimented me. I said, thank you. You're really good at this UFC stuff. Yeah, like, no that shit. Kind of thing. <laughs> like, thank but, you. But, thank after, you sir. but after three hours, did you have a different impression of him or no? Yeah. Well, I mean, he's a businessman, bottom line. He likes making deals. That's what it is. Like, that's his whole thing. And he's, and he's got this ability to just keep going. This is what's crazy. Like The podcast is three hours long. The guy didn't pee before the podcast. He didn't pee after the podcast. He's maybe he had a just little uh, left. catheter. Maybe, maybe, maybe he, he drinks more Diet Cokes than me. But he didn't drink anything during the podcast. Gangster. He just sat here, and we, and we talked, and they were freaking out out there because he was two hours late for something he was doing in Michigan. He didn't give a f- He's like, I know this is going to be bigger than that. Let's just wow. keep going. We did yeah. three hours. Damn. But at the end of it, he's, you know, I don't know him other than the three hours that I talked to him when he was trying to be at his best. Just got in here, didn't have to use the restroom, 
sat down for three hours. And these are his Diet Cokes. Dude, you know what? And then flew out. They're his Diet Cokes? Yeah, there's yeah. one Diet Cokes for him. Oh. He likes Diet Cokes. He's the only guy I know and that drinks more than You know why he drinks Diet Coke and, and eats McDonald's? Because they can't poison that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, McD McDonald's has That's an issue. That's not funny. McDonald's has an issue. No, if he goes to McDonald's, how are they going to poison <clears throat> the McDonald's? How are they going to poison the Diet Coke? That's true. No, that's real. Mm. Well, I don't know if that's why he's. I think it yeah, tastes I think he delicious. Just likes it. I think he likes guess. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> he's he's on Air Force One having some Kentucky What's, Fried wait, how, Chicken. How tall is he in person, big dude? He's like six one, I guess. Probably. Oh, oh well, shorter than I thought. Yeah. That's what Schultz said. Schultz Trump? said he goes. He's, he's actually smaller well, he's, than I thought. He probably shrank a little yeah. as he's gotten 70, older. But I, you know, seventy eight. I thought he was like six four. He was. No, maybe he was at one point in time. He shrunk. But a very nice guy and fun to talk to. We had a good time. Has your I'd, I'd talk to him like I talked to everybody. I swore. I just talked normal. Yeah. Has I, your I like Trump impression improved since? I don't have a good Trump impression. But, Shane Gillis is so it, has good. It, has so it improved? Good. Those like a little bit. He didn't it's sound okay. like Trump like, with you. He didn't sound like Trump with you. He sounded more like he was just more calm. And his could, voice. His could, voice. You wow. do, could you do? Could you do? Joe Diaz doing Trump. Here's, here's is that what possible? He didn't think he was going to get attacked. Oh yeah, you know his guard was down. Uh, yeah, well, it's not even that his guard was down. Like he knew I wasn't gonna with him. Right. I'm like, I just want to talk to you. Yeah, I just, like the same way I would treat Kamala Harris. I just want to have a conversation. Yep. Just like I just want to know what what did you do? Why did you do this? What was it like when you got in office? Like uh, there was a bunch of things that I needed to ask him about. There's a few that I didn't get to. Uh, abortion was one of them. Psychedelics was another one. There's a couple, couple different things that I did want to talk to him about, but the, the the big one for me was like, what the hell is it like when you've never governed anything ever, and then all of a sudden you're in the White House? Like, what's that experience Who do like? You talk to like, well, what he was very he, he illum a while, It takes a while because he yeah. like goes on these journeys. He likes to talk about different kinds of things, and he calls it a weave, and he brings it back to the original subject. But he can talk about anything he wants that way. He kind of dictates yeah. the conversation. But I had to kind of bring him back to. I mean, well, you have thousands of people. Like, how many people did you have to appoint? He had to appoint ten. 10,000 different people to these Fuck. jobs and he has no experience so he doesn't know these people so he's taking other people's advice and there was a lot of people that I put in that I shouldn't that have put advice. in and you know he's super honest about it and w what he did and what he was trying to do by imparting tariffs and by um, decreasing taxes he wanted to stimulate business and he wants to drill for oil he said we have more oil in this country and than water. any country in the world wow. and, and water he said too, we, we can be completely self-sustaining in the United States yes. bring American manufacturing back Fuck the yeah. way that we get taxed if we sell our stuff overseas we should be taxing that we should be hitting them with tariffs he even floated That's out the idea I don't even know if this would work but he floated out the idea we get an end income tax and just rely totally on tariffs totally can you imagine what, what, we're paying fifty percent of our money and we still got to pay for water? We still got to pay for energy. We got a water bill and we're paying fifty percent of our checks. That should be free.